In Japan, they unmasked a bombshell beauty, one of Japan's most famous influencers. It actually turned out that he was a 50-year-old man who used filters. The news stunned Twitter users after they learned the truth. The young influencer had become famous for her beauty and for showing how she traveled the island on a motorcycle. On social networks, she had thousands of followers who were surprised to discover that the entire time they were being fooled. The adventurous travel blogger with amazingly good looks wasn't in reality who she said she was. As reported by Gizmodo, the young woman had tripled her followers in the last month thanks to her beauty and exotic travels. It seemed as if there was no stopping her rocket ship level growth. It was all heading up and up, but then, as fate usually does, a stumbling block hit. A mistake was found, a mistake that gave rise to the suspicion of her followers. Followers who do not miss the slightest detail. In this detail that didn't match, something was simple but glaringly obvious. The reflected image in the rearview mirror of her motorbike, in one of her many selfies, it was a man. A man with glasses in the reflection. It was at this moment that the campaign of trying to find out what was happening began. Finally, an entertainment program called The Monday Late Show even got involved. And it was thanks to them that the truth was eventually uncovered. They found Asuza Gakuyuki and discovered that she, or in this case he, is actually a man with long hair identical to that of the influencer. Because of that, they realized that not everything was fake. The man explained that he started uploading photos as a woman because nobody wants to see a man, and that he found that as a woman he received many more likes than as a male. The reporters of the program who showed a printed photo of the young woman also demonstrated how the transformation takes place, and it's thanks to an application similar to the well-known FaceTime that changes the faces of people by different gender and age. The biker only has to contribute his hair and adopt a feminine attitude when taking the photos. Thus, you make sure to convince the audience that he was an attractive young woman. This is an amazing thing. As I'm sure you know, there was a big memorial service for the great Nelson Mandela yesterday in South Africa. Many prominent leaders from around the world, including President Obama, showed up to pay tribute. And as is often the case with a big event, they had a sign language interpreter on hand to translate for the hearing impaired. And the only problem was the movements the guy who was translating was making with his hands made no sense. Even if you don't know sign language, if you watch this, you can tell he only has like three or four moves that he repeats over and over here. Okay, that's, it. that's him. And you see, he looks like a backup dancer for a singer we cannot see or hear. Inside joining in this week's cigarette, inside to prove and on and on, to support, I would please to say, from me to you. He explained that during the memorial, he began to hear voices before witnessing angels enter the stadium. This put him under duress and out of desperation, attempted to dissuade them with the motions we saw on stage. It was an urgent Hurricane Irma evacuation order, but look at the sign language interpreter on yes, the right. He's actually signing total to gibberish. What's he really communicating to deaf citizens caught up in the hurricane crisis? Words like pizza, monsters, and the yes. sentence, no, help you at that time to use bear hug. It's happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibberish. This time it was at the police news conference announcing an arrest in the Tampa serial killings. We will be charging four counts of first degree murder. Standing off to the side, apparently translating every word, this woman. We received over 5,000 tips in this case. But it turns out much of what she was signing was nonsense. She waved her arms around like she was singing jingle bells, says one outraged sign language expert. The woman, identified as Derlin Roberts, has a string of arrests for fraud. So how did she come to be translating at last week's high-profile police news conference? I just didn't ask enough questions. Tampa Police Public Information Officer Steve Hegarty told me the woman simply showed up out of the blue and offered her services. An Albuquerque teen who tried to pass himself off as a sheriff's deputy 
faced a judge and was sentenced today. It happened back in September when an Albuquerque police officer saw Brendan Wazinski on 4th Street near I-40. Lapel video here shows the 18-year-old had pulled over another car that he claimed was speeding. He told the officer he worked for BCSO, but didn't keep up the act very long. Who you work for? Really, can I oh, okay. I, I know, I'm under-equipped. Okay, do you have an idea with you? I mean, this is this is all I got. I mean, like I said, I'm under I'm under equipped. I was just heading over there to the courthouse. To the courthouse for what? To get my crap. Okay. The wannabe cop sticks to his story. I know it makes no sense. I caught him going 120 down I-40. The officer has Wazinski hang around while he checks on his story. For starters, I know this looks really bad. This looks really bad. This screams whacker. <laughs> How long you been on? About three years. I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you. I'm okay. not a cop. Where'd you get honest. that badge from? I bought it offline. Offline. Before heading downtown, Wazinski sheds a few tears in the back seat. Lapel video shows Wazinski was wearing some type of uniform. He had a car with flashing lights and a police radio inside. Today, Wazinski showed up to court with a female companion. He pled no contest to impersonating a peace officer. Judge Sandra Engel sentenced him to a year of probation. Hey, sir. Hey, my son, lucky to meet you. He really uh, admires guys in the Army. Hey, buddy. I'm Sean. Where'd you get your uh, three CIBs at? Afghanistan. All three? All three. You know you need to be in three different campaigns to get three uh, three CIBs, right? This one was from Afghanistan. Okay. That's from Iraq. Okay. And that was from my second rotation back to Afghanistan. You know, no matter how many you do, you can only get one. For That's, Iraq, Afghanistan, you know, all three, you can well, only get them. You know that, right? Because uh, my campaign took me outside of mission lines from Afghanistan. That doesn't make any sense. And you're in second bet, Rangers? Yep. There it is. Where's your combat patch at? Uh, I gave it to a little kid again. All right, why is your flag so low on your shoulder? It should be up here. Got me on that one, bud. Why are uh, your boots are all on blast, too? Because uh, I literally just got home. From where? From Fort Lewis. Fort Lewis? Is that where the Rangers are? That's where we're stationed. How come, uh, where's your, your shirt underneath? Your tan t-shirt? What's your rank? I'm a staff sergeant. Staff sergeant? Hold on one second. Staff sergeant. Staff sergeant. He's calling a staff sergeant. Why is he calling a staff sergeant staff sergeant if he's already a staff sergeant? He's calling a staff sergeant staff sergeant when he's wearing the rank of a staff sergeant. That makes much sense. Okay. Here it is, guys. Stolen valor at its finest. Okay. He's full of shit. Wearing a United States Army uniform. Claims to be a United States Army Ranger. Why don't you just admit you're a phony? You know it's illegal, right? What you're doing right now? Let me tell you something. If I was a phony... Yeah? Then I wouldn't be wearing the shoes. You wouldn't? No. Because you are so, phony. I just called you out on about 10 different things. This is illegal. What you're doing right now is illegal. It's stolen Valor. Right here. Stone Valor. Hey, let's go. Stop it. At its finest. What's your name, dude? Okay. Thanks, buddy. The Guardian is reporting that the man who was supposedly a key Taliban leader and was involved in peace talks with NATO and the Afghan government turned out to be an imposter. A man claiming to be Mullah Akhtar Mohammed Mansour, the second highest ranking member of the Taliban Council in Pakistan, was reportedly paid a large sum of money in exchange for continued negotiations. However, the scheme was unraveled when an Afghan official, who had previously met the Taliban chief, said he did not recognize the man posing as Mansour. The revelation is a step backward for Afghan President Hamid Karzai, who had put his hopes on a peace deal with insurgents. Disturbing allegations tonight after police say a man pretending to have Down syndrome hired female caregivers to change his diapers and to bathe him. Well, Mark, as you can imagine, these young women are deeply disturbed. And on top of their allegations against this man, 12 News is learning he worked within the Chandler Unified School District interacting with children.
Why would he do it? These young women want answers. They, along with another 19-year-old woman, spending several months as caregivers for Paul Menchanka, a woman named Amy contacting them on carelinks.com, claiming to be Menchanka's mother, saying her son had Down syndrome. She would talk like a child, he would act like a child. The women switching off looking after Menchanka, oftentimes at his Gilbert home, where they were tasked with bathing him and changing his diapers. Every time that we changed his diaper, he would always have an erection. Court documents reveal in one instance, Menchanka aggressively said his genitals were not cleaned enough. I was working with him for almost uh, six months. After dozens of visits, the caregivers realizing something wasn't right, confronting him in front of his family, his parents telling them their son does not have Down syndrome and doesn't need a diaper. And Menchaka is charged with several counts of sexual abuse and fraud. In Chad, we trust. Hit subscribe now, that's a must. Chad Munch. Uh huh. Let's go. Sit back and whine. I expose the fakes every single time. Yeah, you know what I came to do. We gon' share a laugh at every single fool. Now, hop in the driver's slime. Come witness the masterpiece. Got these fakes all mad at me. Be real, or you got to be the psychic liars, fake gurus. So crazy, must be cuckoo. Guarantee you gon' laugh a bunch. Yeah, yeah. Here with the chad munch.